1. Look at part 1. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Put the bananas on the table, please. Put the bananas where? On the table. Oh, OK. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. Now, can you put the eggs under the chair? Put the eggs under the chair. That's right. Two. OK, now put the flower in the woman's hair. Put the flower in the woman's hair. That's right. That's beautiful. Three. And the pineapple? The pineapple. Put it on the bookcase. OK, I'm putting it on the bookcase. Thanks. Four. Right. Now, can you find the watermelon? Yes, I can. Can you put it next to the box, please? OK. It's next to the box now. Five. What now? Hmm. Put the onion in the woman's hand, please. OK. I'm putting the onion in the woman's hand. Thank you. Now listen to part one again. One. Now, can you put the eggs under the chair? Put the eggs under the chair. That's right. Two. OK, now put the flower in the woman's hair. Put the flower in the woman's hair. That's right. That's beautiful. Three. And the pineapple? The pineapple. Put it on the bookcase. OK, I'm putting it on the bookcase. Thanks. Four. Right. Now, can you find the watermelon? Yes, I can. Can you put it next to the box, please? OK. It's next to the box now. Five. What now? Hmm. Put the onion in the woman's hand, please. OK. I'm putting the onion in the woman's hand. Thank you. That is the end of part one. Part two. Look at the picture. Listen and write a name or a number. There are two examples. Hello, I'm your new teacher. What's your name? It's May. Thank you, May. How do you spell your name? M-A-Y And how old are you? I'm ten now. Sorry, ten? Yes. Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One I've got a sister at this school, too. And what's her name? It's Kim. K-I-M? Yes, that's right. Two. Where do you live, May? I live in Cross Street. Is that... C R O double S. Yes.
three. And what number is your house, please? Our house is number five. Pardon? Number five. Four. And who drives you to school? My grandfather. And what's his name? His name's Mr. Young. Is that Y O U N G? Yes, that's right. Five. And how many children are in this class? Seventeen. Seventeen. Hmm. Can I sit down now, please? Yes, you can, May. Thank you. Now listen to part two again. One. I've got a sister at this school too. And what's her name? It's Kim. K I M. Yes, that's right. Two. Where do you live, May? I live in Cross Street. Is that C R O? Double S. Yes. Three. And what number is your house, please? Our house is number five. Pardon? Number five. Four. And who drives you to school? My grandfather. And what's his name? His name's Mr. Young. Is that Y O U N G? Yes, that's right. Five. And how many children are in this class? Seventeen. Seventeen. Hmm. Can I sit down now, please? Yes, you can, May. Thank you. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What's Pat's favourite food? What's your favourite food, Pat? Burgers? No, I don't like them. Is it French fries? No, my favourite food is ice cream. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One, who is Ben's teacher? Who's your teacher, Ben? Her name is Sue. She's got long brown hair. Does she wear glasses? No, she doesn't. Two, which colour does Mum like? What can we buy for Mum's birthday? She wants a new T-shirt. I know. Good. We can buy a pink T-shirt for her. No, she doesn't like pink, and she doesn't wear black. Well, we can buy a white T-shirt then. She likes that colour. Three. Which boy is Tom? Do you walk to school, Tom? No, I don't. Oh, do you go on the bus then? No, I ride my bike to school.
Four. Where are Kim's jeans? Where are your new jeans, Kim? Mm, are they in my bedroom? No, they aren't. And they aren't in the bathroom. Oh, I know. They're in the living room. Five. What does Bill want for his breakfast? What do you want for your breakfast, Bill? Can I have eggs and beans, please? Yes. Do you want some bread with it? No, thanks. Now listen to part three again. One. Who is Ben's teacher? Who's your teacher, Ben? Her name is Sue. She's got long brown hair. Does she wear glasses? No, she doesn't. Two. Which colour does Mum like? What can we buy for Mum's birthday? She wants a new T-shirt, I know. Good. We can buy a pink T-shirt for her. No, she doesn't like pink and she doesn't wear black. Well, we can buy a white T-shirt then. She likes that colour. Three. Which boy is Tom? Do you walk to school, Tom? No, I don't. Oh. Do you go on the bus then? No. I ride my bike to school. Four. Where are Kim's jeans? Where are your new jeans, Kim? Mm, are they in my bedroom? No, they aren't. And they aren't in the bathroom. Oh, I know. They're in the living room. Five. What does Bill want for his breakfast? What do you want for your breakfast, Bill? Can I have eggs and beans, please? Yes. Do you want some bread with it? No, thanks. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at this picture. There's a kite in the tree. Where? In the tree. Oh, yes. I can see it. Can you colour it yellow? OK. It's yellow now. Can you see the yellow kite in the tree? This is an example. Now you listen and colour. One. Now look at the boy. Yes, he's got a kite in his hand. That's right. Can you colour it red? Colour the kite red? The kite in the boy's hand? Yes, please. Two. Look, some kites are flying. Yes, they're beautiful. Can I colour one? OK. Colour the kite between the bird and the tree. The kite between the bird and the tree. Can I colour it blue? OK. Colour it blue. Three. Now, there's a kite in the girl's bag. In her bag? Oh, yes, I can see it. Can you colour it green, please? Green? Yes, please. The kite in the girl's bag.
four. Can you see the bicycle in the picture? Yes, it's behind the girl. There's a kite on the bicycle. Oh, yes. Can I colour that kite brown? Brown? Well, OK then. Five. OK. Which kite can I colour now? There's a kite under the chair. Under the chair? Yes. Can you colour it purple? OK. Hmm. I like purple. Now listen to part four again. One. Now look at the boy. Yes, he's got a kite in his hand. That's right. Can you colour it red? Colour the kite red? The kite in the boy's hand? Yes, please. Two. Look, some kites are flying. Yes, they're beautiful. Can I colour one? OK. Colour the kite between the bird and the tree. The kite between the bird and the tree. Can I colour it blue? OK. Colour it blue. Three. Now, there's a kite in the girl's bag. In her bag? Oh, yes, I can see it. Can you colour it green, please? Green? Yes, please. The kite in the girl's bag. Four. Can you see the bicycle in the picture? Yes, it's behind the girl. There's a kite on the bicycle. Oh, yes. Can I colour that kite brown? Brown? Well, OK then. Five. OK. Which kite can I colour now? There's a kite under the chair. Under the chair? Yes. Can you colour it purple? OK. Hmm, I like purple. That is the end of the Starters Practice Listening Test 3.